It looked like these people were good at using Ramus's items. First, before they went to fight the Guardian of Floor 20, they used a recording crystal. This item applied to a full squad, so even if they were wiped out, they could still respawn at the save point that they registered. All of those item uses were in line with my expectations. This on its own was fine, but, on top of that, they were also using a return whistle to leave the labyrinth as a squad. Following that, they would disband the squad, and then each member would find additional teammates to form a new squad, with a maximum number of 10 members. Let's see, this way the total number would be. Indeed. These are no longer just a couple squads, their size is more comparable to a small army. With 10 squads in total, that added up to 100 challengers. Every single one of them boasted a strength of at least rank C plus to B plus. I heard that they were also wearing the same type of jacket embroidered with some sort of symbol. All of these people grouped together in style. Almost as if they were trying to show everyone else how strong they were, they marched onward through the labyrinth. And of course, it was said that all members had appeared before the Guardian of Floor 30. These challengers were also divided into squads, 10 in total, each of them taking turns. The Ogre Lord and his five subordinates were a powerful company, but those challengers weren't rookies either. And in the end, even though it was a tough battle, these people still made it through floor 30, with their third squad of challengers. Didn't something similar happen lately? Your Majesty has sharp senses, their group was the Green Rebellion. I see, of course they were behind it. Wearing the same type of jacket with the same symbols. Were they sent by some noblemen? Considering how often these people were using a recording crystal, I couldn't help but shiver. Well, the saying goes, time is money. But to simply use a disposable item that costs as much as one gold coin without a flinch. Did that symbol reveal what noble house they belonged to? I asked Saka san to investigate. They seemed to be a famous mercenary group known as the Apostles Offered. Their sponsors seemed to come from the Kingdom of Ingratia. Apostles Offered, never heard of them. On the other hand, the Central Kingdom of the Western Nations was suddenly interested in the labyrinth in our nation this was a lot more surprising to me. During the debut festival, there seemed to be nobles from lower houses in attendance, but I don't suppose there were any from the royal house. Did they fear letting someone get ahead of them? Or were they up to something else? How should I put it, I suppose? The attitude they had, essentially that money makes the mergo, left a sour taste in people's mouths. Nevertheless, they weren't violating any rules. What was giving us a headache was that we had no reason to kick them out. I could understand why Meyer Miles was nervous. At this point, there was really nothing we could do. We are profiting from it, so there's really nothing to complain about. But these people will probably tear through the floors designed by Ramir Sama. In other words, during my shut-in period, Meyer Miles wanted to see me because he was afraid that these people would conquer the labyrinth. Take a look at yourself, you shake into the bone. It shouldn't be an issue. After all, what lies beneath floor 40 is the real deal. Getting there still won't be a cakewalk though, beating the Tempest Serpent is no small feat. The Squad Green Rebellion displayed immaculate teamwork, so, if I had to guess, that team had the strength equivalent of rank A-. Although I still had my doubts, considering their individual strength was only rank B, they would probably be unable to resist a powerful area attack. The Tempest Serpent was very powerful among the rank A- monsters. So, it should take more than 10 B-plus members to defeat it. However, according to Ramur Sama and Vildor Sama, the captain of the Team Green Rebellion, appears to have lied about his actual abilities. A from footage alone, I can't really run an accurate analyze and assess, but... Report. Applying analyze and assess on battle footage alone cannot calculate the magical content of the target. That was the advice Raphael San gave me. We could solely analyze the video footage and infer the equivalent monster, adventure, ranking established by the Freedom Association. But we were unable to calculate the team's absolute level of ability. For instance, my registered rank was B+, yet my actual ability was at rank S. That's just how it was, sometimes your true level of ability didn't match up with your ranking. Moreover, it was even more difficult to tell when someone was faking it. This would be something I needed to figure out countermeasures for. I want to hear what Baldora and the others have to say. Leave it to me. I've already contacted all of them. Let's talk in some other place. As expected from Meyer Miles. The moment I left the room, he had already contacted Vildor and the others. I nodded and stood up from my seat. Everyone gathered in the meeting room inside the labyrinth the usual guys, of course. You are so slow, Remure. Yeah, that's right. You are the captain, you know, gotta do better than this. I'm the captain. First time I've heard of it. But that's not the point now. Well then, what's the current situation? It's gotten really dire. They have already made their way to floor 38. Ramrus rendered the raider's progress into video footage as she spoke. She looked distraught and flustered as she worked to visualize the situation. It was like a bunch of any models moving around in a transparent box. There were extremely delicate 3D projections. 
If only I could use this to perform a direct analyze and assess. Proposal. If permission to interfere with the individual Ramers' intrinsic skill aberrant creation is granted, more accurate intelligence could be extracted. Oh oh, it was rare of Raphael sent to suggest something. It looked like it was worth a try, let's ask her right away. Ramers Khan, may I ask you a favor? Eh? Why are you getting so serious all of a sudden? The thing is, I want to interfere with your labyrinth creation is that okay? Interfere. How are you going to interfere with it? Even if you ask me I certainly had no clue. By interfere I mean interfere. I just want to collect all sorts of information from the labyrinth, I guess. I casually threw out some contrived nonsense in an attempt to bamboozle Ramers. Report. That was basically it. Ho ho, I am a genius after all. It seemed that I correctly interpreted Raphael Sensei's idea. I guess you may, but can you endure all that? Hey, me. Why are you worrying about me now? Not really, but the thing is, that the amount of information within my labyrinth is huge. Even I can't grasp all of it, that's why I usually just delete most of that stuff. Aha, wait a minute. An immense amount of information just like she pointed out, it was indeed filled to the brim. There were already more than a thousand challengers using the labyrinth at that very moment, in addition to the many items on various floors, not to mention the residents on floor 95. And all of this would be handled by... Answer. No problem. Ah, uh, yeah. No problemo indeed. Uh, no, problem. Why do you sound like you're full of doubt? Well then, you don't have to pursue it, Ramers. Just go ahead and hand the matters to Ramur. No more need to worry about it. I wasn't even sure about it myself before Ramers was suddenly convinced by Vildor. I got it. Then I'll give Ramur the access to interfere with my labyrinth creation, Ramers declared, and reached out to touch me. And with that, I was easily connected to the labyrinth. Report. Established connection with the intrinsic skill labyrinth creation of individual Ramers. Proceeding to gather intelligence. As if it was already on the edge of his seat, Raphael San launched its operation. And in that same instant, it felt as though a tidal wave of information flooded into my brain though, it had no ill effect on my body. I had tensed up in anticipation, yet it was all for nothing. Report. Analyze and assess of Team Green Rebellion has concluded. The captain's abilities exceed rank A. The analysis of the remaining members deviates by a negligible amount from the previous appraisal. It looked like Raphael San was able to get the necessary information in a moment's notice. What a reliable sensei indeed. But for some reason, Raphael San seemed to be continuing its analyze, and assess was there something else on its mind. Answer. Currently analyzing all ongoing battles within the labyrinth. I felt like I was being told to stay out of the way. Right. Ordinary men such as I had not the faintest idea of what Raphael Sensei was up to. I believed it must have been doing something really rad again, so I let it do its thing undisturbed. Speaking of which, let's get back on track. I see. What did you see, Remuer? That was fast, so he really couldn't handle it. Ignoring Vildora's usual demeanor, Ramers was gazing at me with doubt in her eyes. Although she had good reason to do so, I was slightly offended, and, therefore, declared my discovery with a slice of arrogance. That guy looks to be above rank A. I presented footage that was quite unlike the feed displayed by Ramers, and continued to enlarge the images. A. Everyone seemed surprised, but Ramers was the one that was hit the hardest. Ho oh, hold up, Ramuru. How did you figure out how to use my skill? Hahaha, <laughs> after you gave me access to interfere, I just suddenly learned how to use it. No way. Even I can only broadcast specific locations and people that I've checked on before. Apparently, Ramers could only project images that the labyrinth managers could see. No wonder why it was difficult to verify intelligence in detail. Ah, don't be a stranger. I'm just good at this type of thing. While pacifying Ramers by saying that, I turned my eyes to the projector. Speaking of the person above rank A, he was the captain of the Team Green Rebellion, a spirit wielder. Given how much power he had been hiding, surely, he would be able to utilize many spirits. If this guy were capable of wielding greater spirits, his power would definitely have stood to increase many times over. Oh, so the above rank A you set was in comparison to the ranking of monsters. Yep, that's the standard set by the Freedom Association, in order to determine which people of a certain rank can defeat what type of monster. Yet they never considered the relative safety of such a battle. In my memory, stipulated by the association's rules, multiple adventurers were to confront a monster of the same rank. Then what rank is my team? You guys, let me see. Masayuki's rank was a tad ambiguous. Honestly, I thought that he would still be considered a rank D loser. But Masayuki's unique skill was ridiculously over the top, so the whole team may easily have added up to beyond rank A. But saying this directly to Masayuki could easily be misunderstood, so I should save it for another time. Right now, it was best to try and make something up. Jinrai barely made it to rank A. 
Although I'm unsure whether he could defeat the Tempest Serpent alone, it should be a piece of cake if he had the Ogre series. Not even Mithril full plate armor could completely protect one against Poison Fog, making the Tempest Serpent a tough enemy for him. Unlike monsters, humans had all kinds of weaknesses. This was, of course, no video game, the possession of resistance could be a matter of life and death. Despite being on equal footing in terms of strength, one can easily succumb to a lethal dose of poison. Jinrai sure is impressive. Isn't he? However, a lot of that is due to your skill buffing Jinrai's abilities through the roof. Aren't the rest of your comrades a girl, named Jiwu, and Bernie? Both of them are also rank A-. A very balanced and strong team. This was probably the reason why Masayuki was never shown in a bad light before. All thanks to my reliable teammates. Hahaha, <laughs> Masayuki-sama must be stronger than all of his companions. I think he can be easily evaluated as above rank A. Since you are, after all, the hero recognized by Rimura-sama. Mayumiles gazed at Masayuki with admiration. Please don't act like that. Masayuki was torn between laughing and crying again because of it. But, here's the problem. Not only was this one member of the Green Rebellion that strong, the guy next to him is also rank A. They're the mercenary group Apostles of Vert, right? Seems like an organization with many skilled warriors. There's no way. Where did all of these elites come from? Um, to me they're still pushovers, but... After putting some thought into it, I figured that, if these people were to team up, they could have easily broken through floor 50. Gozer and Mezer are both rank A. But it may be too much for either of them to handle these two people at once. Moreover, that captain of Green Rebellion seems to rival Gozer and Mezer in strength. Is he really that strong? Indeed. By the way, those two guys are also twice as strong as Jinrai. This is ignoring techniques however, a purely physical comparison. The two guys, approaching the strength to rival the captain, were also powerful enough to stand against greater magins. Right now, they seem to be weaker than our all-pal Jalmud, though stronger than the lesser skilled holy knights. The captain of Green Rebellion stood head and shoulders above the rest, and although this is my assumption, he was more experienced in combat as well. Even the traps I specifically set for them were taken out by the beasts they summoned. These people are good at this. Yeah, if this were to continue, they will eventually end up on the floor I prepared. How terrible, it will be bad if this continues. Huh. I thought those two would have been happier, were they worrying about something. I was pretty pissed by the fact that my own traps were getting thwarted, but by all accounts, these two should have been looking forward to challengers. Moreover, since a short while ago, Ramrus's face had been filled with panic, were they hiding something from me? Is there something you aren't telling me? I asked straight up. And soon, Baldor and Ramrus turned to look at each other, before Ramrus seemingly decided to be straight with me and began to talk. The thing is, during the three days you stayed in your room. And following the things that came out of her mouth, my head began to hurt as I listened.